Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from Techspert and I'm here with one of the most exciting, one of the most hotly anticipated smartphones of 2020, the OnePlus 8 Pro. Offering significant updates compared with the standard OnePlus 8, including a gorgeous 120Hz screen with some very clever tech packed in there indeed. If you're after a portable entertainment machine, then the OnePlus 8 Pro certainly looks like it'll be absolutely ideal for cinephiles, for game lovers, anything like that. I'm gonna yank the OnePlus 8 Pro out of its box, take you on a full tour of the hardware, the software, everything you need to know if you are thinking of buying this mean machine. And for more on the latest, greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So once again, the OnePlus 8 Pro comes sheathed in a mighty red box, just like the standard OnePlus 8, and of course the OnePlus 7Ts before it. So there's the actual OnePlus smartphone. Let's just set that aside for now. Check out what is in the rest of the box. So spoiler alert, I've already unboxed the standard OnePlus 8. You can check out that video right now as well. So I already know what's gonna be packed in here is of course, boring safety information, quick start guide, a whole heap of OnePlus stickers so you can uh, get wild and crazy with those. And we've also got an invitation letter from Warman Pete. Uh, so let's just crack that open. And there you have it, just re-emphasizing that connection with the community that OnePlus has. It's really good that they're still listening to their fans after all this time. And this is where you'll also find the Pokey Pin device to get your SIM inside that OnePlus 8 Pro. And inside the OnePlus 8 Pro box, you'll also get a free condom case just to give it a bit of extra protection, complete with Never Settle Brandon, lovely stuff. Get your bright red USB Type-C cable. You ain't gonna be losing that in a dark room or anywhere really. And of course, three pin uh, plug here in the UK, uh, so perfect stuff. And it's all warp charge 30 t to the max. I'll uh, run through some of the battery tech and all that sort of stuff in a bit. And now, of course, is the moment I've been looking forward to for a good long while, the official unveiling, by me at least, of the OnePlus 8 Pro. And there it is. So the OnePlus 8 Pro design doesn't do anything sort of radically different, but I definitely like it overall as a package. Looks very slick indeed. This is the glacial green version. So as you can see there, it's got a matte style finish, almost a metallic sheen to it, but it is constructed from glass. You can also pick up the OnePlus 8 Pro in a, a mirror black finish if you prefer, a more glossy, shiny finish to it. And I believe those are the only two colors that are actually coming to the UK. So limited choice, but hopefully it'll expand as time goes by. It's a 199 gram handset, a little bit more heft to it than the standard OnePlus 8. Not crazy big considering it's got 6.78 inch display though, thanks to the fact that the screen actually curves around the edges as you can hopefully make out there. You don't get a screen protector uh, pre-installed unfortunately here on the OnePlus 8 Pro, unlike the standard 8, but you do get Gorilla Glass around front and around the back as well. So hopefully that should keep it nice and pristine for the foreseeable. Not sure which version of Gorilla Glass, unfortunately OnePlus left that particular detail out of the specs. And good news for everyone who's been clamoring for an official IP rating for water resistance here on the OnePlus smartphones because the OnePlus 8 Pro is the first one to finally do it. It's IP68 water and dust resistant, lovely stuff. So let's just do a super quick tour of the OnePlus 8 Pro. So here on the left edge, you've got, of course, your volume rocker. Over on the right, you'll find your power button and also your alert slider as well, standard. Nothing particularly exciting up top. And then down below, you've got your USB Type-C port and your SIM tray. Now I've got a couple of uh, cases to try on the OnePlus 8 Pro as well. Of course, starting with that free rubber bumper, which you get bundled in the box. And as you can see, it doesn't really add much in the way of girth. Uh, as that nice bit of never settled branding, if you like that. And of course, because it's transparent, you can still see the original quite sleek design through all that, which is quite nice. So yeah, just if you want a bit of extra protection for your expensive shiny new smartphone, that'll do the job. Alternatively, I rather like this Fetch and Cyan Sandstone bumper case. This does admittedly add a little bit of chunk onto your OnePlus 8 Pro smartphone, which ain't great, but it's super protective. And as you can see there, gorgeous uh, coloration as well. Not too dissimilar to actually the standard natural color of the OnePlus 8 Pro. And I love the rough texture to it as well. It is almost like you're clutching a rock. Could probably give you Veruca as a good pummeling with this thing. Otherwise, if you want something that's a little bit more professional, I guess you could go for the carbon bumper case instead. It's just it's got a, uh, as you can see that patterned black finish to it. Again, just like the other case, just slaps on there, adds a little bit of girth to it. it does actually feel rather nice though. It's got this nice sort of soft texture to it. I can certainly see this one suiting the pampered exec who's on some sort of company retreat. Anyway, enough of all that bollocks. The OnePlus 8 Pro is just powering up, gonna get it all set up and then I'll take you on a full on tour. Right, so the OnePlus 8 Pro is all set up and good to go. Now, like previous OnePlus handsets, you do of course have an in-display fingerprint sensor to actually unlock the handset, dive into your desktops, nice and fast and responsive as you can see there. You've also got a nice bit of face unlock action as well. So a quick tap of that power button or a bit raise to wake and there you go, straight into your desktops again, nice and quick and easy. And you've probably noticed by now, of course, that that front facing camera is a, a 
pinhole effort instead of a notch affair or a pop-up affair like some of the previous pros. It is very dinky indeed though and you do have the option of hiding it in the settings if you're not a fan. Now let's focus first of all while we're on the subject on that 6.78 inch fluid AMOLED display. Absolutely stunning stuff and definitely one of the highlights here on the OnePlus 8 Pro. It's got some significant upgrades over the standard OnePlus 8 as well. So stunning Quad HD resolution. So as you can see there, absolutely pixel perfect. Gorgeous for all of your movies, pictures, whatever you want to be doing. And thankfully, yeah, that little pinhole camera only intrudes a tiny little bit, barely even noticeable, tucked away there in the corner. You've got full HDR10 Plus support here on OnePlus 8 Pro as well. So nice strong contrast and natural looking colours on supported content. And the colour reproduction is apparently very accurate indeed, just in general. OnePlus reckons that its new 8 series handsets comes with a JNCD score, that's a just noticeable colour difference, of 0.4. Apparently the lower, the better. I never heard of JNCD to be perfectly honest with you before I got my mitts on the OnePlus 8 handset. But yeah, apparently 0.4, very, very good, very accurate colours, very natural. So it's certainly good news for any buzzing photo editors out there. And so far, touch wood, yep, yeah, definitely those pictures look nice and crisp and colourful. And yep, yeah, certainly appear very natural indeed. And apparently the OnePlus 8 Pro maxes out at a mighty 1,300 nits on that maximum brightness. Uh, so let's just boost it all the way up. It's not even, uh, it's probably about a third of the way there at the moment and already pretty powerful. Uh, so it's bumping up to maximum and yep, ow, that'll do, <laughs> that'll definitely do the job, Jesus. Let me tell you, visibility is not gonna be a problem on a super bright sunshiny day when we're eventually allowed to actually leave our houses again. And as you kind of expect from a smartphone that calls itself a Pro, you get a nice swift refresh rate on here as well. It's actually 120 hertz refresh rate so as you can see every swipe and poke just immediately a silky smooth response to it absolutely immediate gorgeous stuff we dive on into the display settings, you see we've got the usual control over the blue light filters, uh, the colour effects and everything, so you've got a vibrant colour effect that you can activate if you prefer those more vivid hues, that's actually deactivated by default. And if we dive on into the advanced display settings, you'll see you can change the resolution, it's set to auto switch right now, so it'll bump it up to Quad HD Plus whenever you're, for instance, enjoying a nice bit of movie action that's supported, uh, and just bump it down to Full HD, again, just to preserve a bit of battery life when it's not needed. You've also got screen refresh controls as well, as you can see, 120 hertz by default but you can manually chuck it back down to 60 hertz if you want and as you can see there 120 hertz on Quad HD Plus resolution is perfectly possible. Samsung, take note. And one of the final OnePlus 8 Pro display features worth talking about is the motion graphics smooth. And this is actually deactivated by default, but if you turn it on, what it does is it can upscale the frames per second on supported video content from services like Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime, using some very clever software. Basically makes everything look a lot smoother. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking this feature out. As you can see, some pretty strong content at the moment. If you tap more supported apps, unfortunately, it just basically takes you to the Google Play Store. I'm guessing that'll be updated in time for the OnePlus 8 Pro's actual release. As for the audio, well, it's a pair of built-in stereo speakers here on the OnePlus 8 Pro. It's got full Dolby Atmos support, everything you'd expect. Let me just boost up that volume so you can check them out. Those colourful physics-defined hairstyles have never looked better. So as you can hear there, nice and loud and punchy on that top volume level and impressive clarity as well, really good stuff. It's a shame you don't get a headphone jack here on the OnePlus 8 Pro, of course, but you've got full Bluetooth 5.1 support. On the software side, it's the latest Oxygen OS 10.5 slap there on top of, of course, a good bit of Android 10 action. Not massively different over the version of Oxygen OS that we already saw on the OnePlus 7T series. Support for the dark mode has been expanded and you've now got these dynamic wallpapers which run in the background as well. A few other little tweaks here and there as well but I'll be running through the best features on the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro in my full tips and tricks guide so check that out. Now before we take a look at that new quad lens rear camera let's just quickly run through the rest of the OnePlus 8 Pro's specs. So what you get packed in here is of course the latest Snapdragon 865 chipset. You always get the latest most premium Snapdragon on these OnePlus handsets which is great to see. So you can expect great performance no matter what you're up to good bit of gaming and all that eight or 12 gigabytes of ddr5 ram packed on this bad boy as well so that's uh, nice and fast it's pretty efficient ddr5 more efficient than ddr4 and also nice fast read write speeds as well and you've also got qualcomm's x55 modem stuffed in there so it's fully 5g ready as well as a good bit of wi-fi 6 support as well so this thing is proper future proof on the storage front you've got a choice of 128 or 256 gigabytes of space not expandable via micro sd sadly but it is ufs 3 just like the OnePlus 7T series, so nice nippy storage at least. 
As for the battery, well, that's also been boosted here for the OnePlus 8 Pro. That's a 4,510 milliamp cell. Now, so hopefully should keep you going all day. You've got usual warp charge 30T support on that. Uh, so you reckon get about half charge in about 23 minutes. That's what OnePlus quotes. I reckon that'll probably be about right, judging by uh, the, the standard of it on the OnePlus 7T handsets. And you've also, as you can see here, now got a bit of wireless charging and reverse wireless charging as well. Finally, on a OnePlus handset, uh, for all those people who've been demanding it for years and years. And that wireless charging actually runs at 30 watts as well, which is even better than the new Huawei P40 Pro. And yeah, you've got the reverse wireless charging if you want to power up, uh, for instance, some true wireless earbuds that are Qi supported, something like that on the go. So now let's take a look at the bit of the OnePlus 8 Pro that a lot of fans will be very eager to hear about, that new quad lens rear camera. So what you have here is a 48 megapixel primary lens using Sony's IMX689 sensor. That's an f1.78 aperture. That's backed by a 48 megapixel ultra wide angle lens as well using the IMX586. You've got an 8 megapixel telephoto lens with three times optical zoom. And finally, a 5 megapixel photochromatic lens as well, which I'll explain in a bit. Now I'll be running through the OnePlus 8 Pro's camera capabilities in full very shortly, but I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the app now, just so you've got a vague idea of what to expect. So of course you can swap between the various lenses just with a little tap of these little icons down here. So that's the wide angle 48 megapixel effort. And if you tap here, you've got your three times optical zoom using that telephoto lens as well. And of course you can pinch in in order to go even further up to 30 times digital zoom, I believe it is. Pixels are shot with that primary 48 megapixel lens by default at 12 megapixels in order to use a bit of pixel binning just to sort of brighten up images when uh, the light is a little bit tricky. But you can immediately swap to a high-res 48 megapixel image just with a quick tap at this icon up here. As usual, you've got a wide selection of bonus modes as well, which you can flick between down here. Otherwise, you just pull out this little tab. You've got fast access to them all. So you've got, for instance, the usual Pro mode where you can shoot JPEG images all raw format images up to that mighty 48 megapixel uh, resolution. Of course, you've got your spirit level, you play around with the white balance, uh, ISO levels, all that kind of shenanigans. All the classics are, of course, on there, like a bit of nightscape for your low light shots and a good bit of portrait action using uh, bokeh style backgrounds to really help your subject to stand out. And I mentioned before as well, you've got new photochromatic lens here on the OnePlus 8 Pro. What you'll need to do is dive into the filters, scroll to the very end, and that's how you get into your photo chromatic filter. And as you can see there, it just bleeds all of the color out of your shots. As you can see there, the red OnePlus 8 box, completely grayscale, as is uh, Batman Meerkat and everything else here. So if you want to get quite arty with OnePlus 8 Pro, maybe shoot some funky photos of some flowers, things like that, then uh, there you go. I'm not sure how much general mainstream use it'll get, but it'll be interesting to see. If you want to shoot a good bit of home movie action as well, you can swap to the video mode. You've got up to 4K resolution uh, footage there, up to 60 frames per second, once again, with the usual super stable uh, efforts and all of that on board as well. You can of course flip between uh, the various different lenses in order to shoot your video too. Apparently the video chops have been upgraded in a couple of other areas for the OnePlus 8 Pro as well. So for instance, if you zoom into a subject, uh, the audio input will be directed there as well. So you'll only pick up what is happening in that area. Supposedly, of course, I've found that in the likes of the new iPhones and stuff, it doesn't really work like that. You still pick up everything that's going on around you. So I'll test it out, see if it actually works. And apparently the HDR smarts are a lot stronger now on the Pro as well. So again, I'll be testing and that out in full. Stay tuned for my full verdict. And then finally, if we flip around to that front-facing 16 megapixel selfie camera, of course, all of the usual smarts that you would expect. You can flip to the likes of the portrait mode in order to get a bokeh style effect behind you as well. You shoot a nice bit of full HD video action and you've got, uh, yeah, hopefully some nice sharp results, hopefully even in HDR situations again be testing it out. And there you have it, my lovely peeps. That, in a nutshell, is the new OnePlus 8 Pro. As you can see, some very shiny, very premium tech indeed. Unfortunately, I don't have the final UK pricing just now as I shoot this video because it won't be announced until the actual official launch, which is happening as this video pretty much goes live. But I've done a full unboxing of the standard OnePlus 8 as well and a full comparison between these two handsets. And of course, I'll be bringing out my tips and tricks guide. Full comparison between all of the Pro smartphones. That includes the 8 Pro, uh, the 7T Pro, and the original 7 Pro. So you can see exactly what's changed, what's evolved over the course of a year, and lots more content as well. So stay tuned. Please do pop subscribe, ding that notifications bell, and have yourselves a lovely week, people. Cheers. Love you.